Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. Oh my gosh, look what I got from Papa Texas, from Texas of course. He gave me something uh, that's uh, a made over there. Ooh, Texas Championship Chili Recipe to two pounds of meat, yes. And I have serranos, it takes serrano peppers, those peppers. So I went and got a couple out of the garden, so that was perfect. I didn't have any tomato paste. Went to the store to get tomato paste, came home without tomato paste. Anyways, I made I made some with my tomatoes. So, anyways, I don't know why I'm sharing this with you, but that's what's going on. All right, so we're gonna use the uh, regular paddle, of course. I'm gonna cook up the ground beef. We're gonna do you can do a quick way or the, the the way they want you to do it. So, brown two pounds of ground beef in a large skillet, drain fat. So let's do that first. I'm using wagyu. Yes, uh, have you ever had that? Oh my god, it's so good. So. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there just to get it started. Cause it's, uh, you know, it's gonna create juices. We're gonna drain that, but just, you know, help it out a little bit. All right, so bottom line, top on at number four, the highest setting on my air fryer. If that's too high, I'll let you know, but I'm gonna do that, brown that, and drain the fat off it, okay? We'll be back. All right, you guys, if you're new to the DeLonghi air fryer game, that paddle starts turning about three, four minutes when the air fryer is hot, so don't try to force it, but, that, I'm gonna turn it off. That was about six minutes, okay? You don't wanna totally cook it. It's still a little red in there. It's okay though, we just want it brown. So I'm gonna drain the fat and then uh, I'll show you what's next. Here we go. Okay, okay. it says um, add all of the tomato paste, which is six ounce can, two cups of chicken broth, and two whole serrano peppers to the ground beef and stir. Bring to a boil 15 minutes and add half of that stuff, which is just a, a nice little, wow, look at that, huh? Ooh. Okay, let's put the beef back in there. Or the Wagyu. And homemade tomato paste, don't laugh. I mean, it's, it takes a while. But just Google that and learn how to make that spot. And uh, my chicken base, chicken broth is chicken base. I make my own with stuff from Canada. Uh, if you want to replicate that, it's like the chicken flavor bouillon from Goya. I'll put a picture of that there. And there's my little serranos, whole thing. Here we go. Let's turn the bottom on. And the top one, let's just do a three, okay? Everything is cooked. I'm gonna do that for 15 minutes and then I'll, I'll show you what, it, what to do. All right, you guys, we're talking 15 minutes. Never change the temperature or anything. And it says I had a uh, half of this lovely packet. My goodness. Can you smell that? Ooh, that smells like chili. And it says to cook uh, and simmer for an hour, stirring as needing. Let me stir it just a little bit here. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. It smells really, really nice. Now when you're stirring with this DeLonghi air fryer, don't touch that paddle. You leave that shark tail alone, okay? All right. So I'm going to turn the bottom off, okay? Because I, I think it's going to do well with with the juices that are left you don't want it to evaporate it totally so let's leave it at three though but turn the bottom off all right we'll be back all right you guys i did that for about 45 minutes it didn't take an hour i'm going to take these out to tell you to take these out and squeeze the juices out of those peppers are you crazy i'm gonna hammer them down with my mallet this one and uh see how that goes okay so then it says to put two cups of uh chicken broth again there we go and i'll get the peppers ready and throw them in there i don't know i might dice them up um because uh, hey the serrano peppers are really hot i'm just telling you two two cups of uh broth and simmer for another 30 minutes same same thing don't turn the bottom on uh leave it at a three and then we'll go from there See you in 30 minutes. All right, you guys, I did that for about 20 minutes. I didn't do the whole 30. And then it says to add the rest of this. Wow. Look at the color. See? And um, it says to keep it going for another 10 minutes. So we'll do that. And then Tom will taste it. We'll be back. Still at number three. The bottom's off. You guys, Tom's going to try it out. I did exactly 10 minutes. Put some corn chips around there. Tom's going to try it with a corn chip. We're trying to review a product, not the corn chip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I got a spoon for you. Very good. 
Mm. You like your chili with beans, but I, I had to follow. You know, yeah, I protocol. know. Yeah. What do you say? Is it spicy? Is it uh, flavorful? Too much of this? Too much of that? Little flavorful. Of this? Little too much salt. Too much salt. Okay. But it's actually pretty good. I mean, um, even without the chips, it was pretty salty. Oh, 25% sodium, yeah. 580 milligrams. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad. I don't know how to cut down on that salt. Could be, um, yeah, I don't know. All right. You didn't put any salt in, did you? No. So what do you rate it? Well, One to five. Uh, can I split the, you know, the ones and the fives and the fours and the threes up? Go ahead, Tom. What number do you give it? Mm. Oh, the third bite's better? No, because it's salty. It is salty. I'm going to get it for a 4.5. The other flavors are really good in it. You sure it's not the chip that's salty? No, I just add two spoonfuls oh, okay. of it. So you, you did you did what? You gave it I what? said a 4.5. If oh, it okay. had beans, I'd probably give it a 4.75. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, Tom. Grab, say goodbye. Bye. Grab your Bye, everyone. All right. All right, guys. It's not bad. Thanks, Papa Texas. I'm going to put his link uh, to his channel down below. Go check him out. Thank you very much. Thanks for shopping.